Hey everyone, I'm Steve from GamersNexus.net and we're here at GDC 2016 and we just got back from the Capsaicin event last night put on by AMD and we spoke to a few people from AMD at the event about some of the new architectures, DX12 and virtual reality. But before getting to our new coverage today on HBM2, pretty important stuff, all of this GDC 2016 coverage is brought to you by Raw Fury's Goner platformer game. It's a new indie platformer game that you're seeing on the screen now. The new architecture that's of most importance immediately anyway is of course Polaris, and that's the one that we saw at CES where AMD had a side-by-side -side with an unnamed Polaris GPU against a GTX 950, and they were showing off sort of a kilowatt performance, so it's a, a perf per watt item that AMD has been really big on showing off lately. And with Polaris, there's an expected 2.5 times gain over the current architectures. And then going into Vega, that's the, the next one, and after that is Navi. Going into Vega, there's what looks like an HBM version 2 integration. That's pretty big news. The first version of HBM was on Fury, or the Fury X cards, and that was the Fiji architecture and HBM for those who don't know is memory that is physically on the die of the GPU and that makes it much faster it's actually significantly faster than something like GDDR and going into HBM2 there's still an expected something like 2x gain over HBM1 for memory bandwidth and that as I said was on the slide for AMD's roadmap presentation of their GPU architecture in the immediate future following this is Navi, and Navi has a couple more ambiguous notes in the chart, but it shows what basically says scalability and then a new type of memory, which is completely unnamed. We would expect it would obviously be something other than HBM2, since HBM2 was explicitly named in the slide. And then Polaris, we would expect, would not have HBM2. Again, wasn't explicitly mentioned. Doesn't seem like the kind of thing that you would do if you're listing it for Vega. So Polaris looks like probably an HBM1, maybe some GDDR5 or GDDR5X thrown in there, like Pascal's doing with GP104. But other than that, the thing to look forward to right now is a Vega in terms of Andy's next big memory implementation, and that will bring Vega up to parity with NVIDIA's impending Pascal also due this year. So both of those two GPU architectures should be due sometime this year, and will both include HBM2 on some level. Check the link in the description below for more information on this, and of course, check our other coverage where we talk to Roy Taylor, and we've got something going up where we talk to Scott Wasson, former tech report and now AMD. That's all going on later today. So check that out in the channel. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time.